Razer does not crash very often. That's so good. I'm, I'm not too worried about that. Now, while we were here, we were talking about a couple other things we might want to fix. The pivot point, um, as well as the, uh, what was the other thing that we wanted to do? Well, oh, the scale. And those textures. We're going to do that too. Oh, and the textures. The textures are very big. So if we zoom out, I'm going to go ahead and hit, um, I'm going to hit Shift A just to create a cube. Now, the default cube is 2 meters by 2 meters by 2 meters. Okay. So we can see a comparison to that statue. Uh, that statue <laughs> is teeny tiny. So uh, this so We cube, saw that we needed like to scale it up 20 times. About 20 times, yeah. So we so can probably do that. We can select this model. And while we're here, I'm going to go into edit mode and hit A and select all the, the faces of it. And... I might just go into a side view here and hit G, which is very, uh, yep. in, very similar to spoke, to grab all of these and kind of, kind of just get it on the the zero plane here. And I'm going to switch to a front view. You're just clicking the just clicking this little lines. gizmo thing up here. You can okay. um, navigate with it. Oh. Um, that looks pretty good. It looks a little rotated actually, kind of off. The, oh right, off yeah. the floor a little bit. Uh, while I'm while I'm here, I'm just gonna hit R, R for rotate. For rotate, and which axis do I want to rotate on? It's the Y, so I type Y, and then I can just kind of straighten it a little bit. It's interesting. In in Blender, they probably they use Z up axis. Correct. Yeah. Z is up in Blender, so that yeah. that can be a little. So spoke and Blender have a little bit different coordinate systems, so it can be a little tricky, but. But that green and, and red thing is the origin. Um, and if yours isn't on for some reason, you can turn that on in those overlays as well. Um, you can turn on floor. Um, or, it's sorry, it's these axes. You can, and you can actually turn on the z-axis if you want, which is I the, the blue one. I think usually is on by default, right? Yeah, it should yeah. be on. Um, but that gives us a sense cool. of where center is. Uh because it got converted to a GLTF, it did a bunch of weird stuff, like added all these extra nodes. You might notice over in in mm -hmm. your um, list view here, you've got like root node, it says GLTF orientation matrix, blah, blah, blah. Generally, you don't have to worry about these too much. Um, if you're kind of, if they bother you that they're there, you can unparent this thing from them and delete them and all that. Right, but, if you have too many of those, then I actually can like have an impact but it would only be an editor when we export from uh spoke we actually get rid of all of these empty nodes um which is great because in um it, especially if this this model was moving around a lot we'd have to update those uh transformations uh matrices mm. um so do you recommend getting rid of these sometimes? I think it's good, but Spoke itself will do that for you. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of up to you. Yeah, I, I kind of like getting rid of them. You may notice, though, if you start dragging things around over here and reparenting, um, the model can change. Like it, yeah. might, it might rotate on you or something. Like So, for example, if I grab um, this one with the triangle, I've, I've expanded these. Um, that says Object 5. And here would probably be a good chance to rename it so i just double clicked it i'm just going to call it statue achilles or something um if i start dragging this out of this collection um actually did a fine job that time i just hmm. dragged it and dropped it on the top scene collection so now this whole thing called collection um i don't really need anymore so you can delete that so i can just delete the entire hierarchy of that collection Actually, it still was attached to it oh, okay. in data, so don't panic. If this happens, um, you can select your model and kind of uh, do the same thing again. You can. Um, there is a difference between rotating it in object mode versus in edit mode, where I'm moving the verts. Um, I don't want to get into too much oh, detail about that, but I, I tend know. to like to do it in edit mode so that it's not actually moving the original rotation values gotcha. or anything. Um, so I can hit R for so that's, rotate. That's rotating the whole geometry instead of like right. just the object. Got cool. it. That's good to know. 
So I'm going to I'm going to go in edit mode and do this. So I'm going to select oh, all the, the apparently faces. Apparently you could have applied the transforms on the object. That's another way to do it. Yeah. Apparent, yep. Um you can do a control a, a and then apply. Thank you. Very good tip. Thank you. Um so you can hit uh rotate here. I'm going to hit I said I, so I hit R then I hit X. So now it wants to rotate on this axis. And then I'm actually going to type 90 and then a, a minus and then hit enter. Cool. So I got it rotated. Now it's still way up here. I want to pull it back down onto that. I hit G, slide it down again. Kind of zoom in a little bit. Looks pretty good. good I'm going to switch to the front view. Looks pretty good. I'm going to get out of edit mode. Um, I also knew I wanted to scale it up about 20 times, so yeah. I'm going to do the same thing. Um, let's do the suggestion that I can't see your name, but the Colin suggestion about Bisbee? applying. If you had been in object mode instead of edit mode like this, and then you, let's say you hit scale and you, you typed in 20, and enter. Now, actually, if you look at the properties of this thing under item, transform over here. And if this, again, if this isn't showing, you can hit the letter N, as in Nancy, um, to see this. Um, and it'll show you, oh, the scale is actually now at 20, um, which is not ideal. You you really want your scale to say 1, 1, 1. Right. When it's you export. way easier to work with. So you can actually just have your model selected and hit Control A. And that opens up this apply menu and you oh. can just say apply all the transforms or just the scale or just the rotation or, or whatever and that will zero everything out essentially so now it says scale one 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 perfect and now in spoke we can work with this object like it'll come in now it'll come in just, just like, like this cool. at this size so if i just to show you if i hit shift a and i make a cube again a two meter cube mm -hmm. um that's closer yeah um to what we wanted might still be a Our little character is 1.7 meters tall mm -hmm. so this thing is maybe a, a little taller than our character um and you know scaling a little bit in spokes no problem yeah. either so this is a this is a better starting point now our model's super clean all it is is this one one mesh you can save the blender file if you want to come in and work with it later and do stuff to it or add things to it